Welcome back everyone, Alien Sama here with a very 18 plus item. So today we have, as listed on Amy Amy Oyaji, Oyaji 112 posable figure apparently re-released. Apparently enough people wanted this and bought it originally that they re-released it. The listing price is 12,420 Japanese yen, which is basically $120 USD. But because of Ami Ami, it was 22% off for 9,800 or 9,680 Japanese yen, which is approximately $100 USD. It was fully released. It was fully re-released in September 2017. So this year, last month. And it is a Daiki Kagyo. Da Daiki Kagyo? I'm so sorry, anyone who's Japanese. I can't pronounce anything. That's a product line. The series title is Misaki Mizuhira Collection. It's pre painted figure. It's approximately 1 12th scale cast offable underwear, which means you can remove his underwear. If you're not comfortable with male nudity, adult rated figures or just 18 plus material even if you are 18 years and older don't feel like you have to watch this video but if you want to see what all this weird stuff is about feel free to keep watching basically i bought this figure because it's going to go fantastic with my queen's blade figures and the adult rated content that i post online that are our figures um i don't post my adult tumblr for online or adult figures anywhere because you'll just have to find it sorry guys and it's not underneath any name you might think you could find me under so if you want to catch up on any of my adult figure photography you'll have to private message me and myself but for now let's crack this weird guy open and see what it's all about alrighty guys so welcome back to the video we have got this guy completely unboxed he is definitely um, something to look at if you ever add him to your collection and put him on the shelf next to all your other figures I guarantee people will be asking you why in God's name did you buy that figure one thing for sure is um, I don't really know other than for adult rated figure photography as you can see the sister that comes with this figure is here she has two fully swappable heads one being this kind of O face, which I'm sure we're all familiar with if we're 18 years and older. Uh, this version of her head comes with a simple little hair bun, some hair sweeped off to the side. Uh, you can't really see her other eye. And of course, she's not wearing her nun veil. It's very simple to put on. You just put it onto a ball joint that is very uh, familiar to uh, Figma or Revel Tech. Same type of joints are used in these figures, but luckily they're more... Um, they're more relatable to Figma, so they are smooth and they do not click when they rotate. The figure also comes with two sets of metal glasses, which you can see right here. Both sets come perfectly straight, so you must bend them to your desired, um, length, I guess. I decided I was going to put them on her, which they are for her. They're not for the male figure. However, I guess if you wanted to, you could attach the glasses with crazy glue or see-through uh, gum paste onto the male figure, which I do plan on doing because it came with two glasses, so why not? Of course, the two glasses is so you can put one set on the non-dressed head and the other set on the undressed head. So the figure does come with a variety of different hands. You have two left and right fist hands, so the character can come with the hands cuffed and closed together, which were originally on the figure. You have a cupping hand, which of course is for cupping objects. What that might be, that's completely up to your imagination. We have two of that style of hand, which can be seen here, left and right. So we got the fists. You have a extra, more open-handed groping hand here. And each hand comes with painted on body hair. And of course we have a very familiar Japanese hand gesture, which is considered the knife hand. The knife hand can be used for many things, be pointing next to your face, kind of doing a hue, 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 and you know, those type of poses. 
The figure also comes with a tie. The tie is not very flexible. It is completely stiff plastic, so unfortunately it does not bend whatsoever. So it will lay pretty awkward on the character when you put it on. So I don't really plan on using it, but I guess it could be used on other figures if it fits. So of course the next thing that makes the figure 18 plus, other than the fact that the nun is completely naked, is this little stand here, which will come in handy for your role playing or adult scenery it's kind of a pedestal of uh, which you can put this little purple dildo on for your nun to do some scene poses just like that and of course the male figure does come with uh, male parts it does come with two different size pieces a large size and a kind of small slash medium size which if you wish to attach these to your figure for any of your photos all you have to do is take this joint here out it comes out of here quite easily. Attach it to one of these. And then of course you'll attach it to the body just the same as you're attaching it here. I find almost every representation of male genitalia, whether it be in actual dildos, figures of males with their genitals showing, the genitals are always poorly detailed. The female nun here, which I will show you in a minute, has completely detailed genitals. Very well, very well sculpted, very well detailed, but the male genitals on everything I've ever seen is almost cartoony and laughable. Like, yeah, it, it kind of represents the shape. Overall, the realism to this is not very high. Um, the one thing you always see is the extremely blue veins or sometimes extremely red veins that go along the shaft of the penis, which I'm just like, why do they do this? I don't understand. So it's not very photogenic in my opinion. I'll probably paint over the veins because they look absolutely awful to me. It looks like some blue worm decided to embed itself in this guy's poor groin. The other shaft that comes with this figure is much smaller, so I'm not too sure if it's just for preference or maybe because I know this one will fit in the um, rubbery underwear. I know this one doesn't. I was kind of playing with the figure a little bit before doing the complete detail and unboxing video that we're doing right now. So I've got a little bit of grasp of how the figure works. So you got your small genitalia, your large one, you have the uh, dildo for the nun, this little piece right here which the penis or the dildo can be attached to but I'm assuming that it's supposed to be for the dildo kind of like a, a sex machine but it's more so just a pedestal it doesn't look like it has or supposed to be any moving parts it's not like it represents a machine I had a one issue with the figure which was very unfortunate um, which is this and that and if you can't tell just by looking at it this is a broken joint. This was uh, originally at sale price $120 USD. Luckily, I only got it for around 90 or 100 Canadian because of Amiami and how they sell their products. But for something that's $100, uh, it broke really fast. The joints of this figure are like Figma's. It's very smooth, but unfortunately, the plastic is not as strong. Um... Maybe you can tell, uh, it might be hard to see. There is a very different sheen or shininess to these joints compared to a Figma joint. It's very plasticky. You can tell it's a tough, solid plastic as opposed to a durable yet bendable plastic, which is less likely to break, which is very good. This one, um, the part kind of just snapped right off you could hear the little crack and once you hear that crack you know the joint is done for so um, I ripped it off or I took it out with some pliers just like these ones and I had to replace it so that was very unfortunate luckily um, we did some doctoring so the joint that originally broke was the arm joint which is right in here the joints are not stiff, but I would definitely be careful with them. This right here is originally the nun's neck. The nun has a poseable joint in her neck, so it's supposed to be that one. It's a little bit smaller than the actual joint that's supposed to be there, so it does um, limit his arm movement due to the joint not being as big, but that's okay. It looks fine. It blends in. It doesn't look um, 
abnormal next to his other arm, especially when it's in a different pose. Um, but what we had to do was, luckily I have tons of Figmas around, which you guys know very well, and we replaced the um, Nun's neck joint with a Figma neck joint, which this happens to be one of my Can't I Collection Girls uh, ship pieces, because they come with quite a few extra pieces just in case you break your Figma products, or if you need to replace it for whatever reason you might need to. So that was very lucky, um, had an extra joint around, mostly Nendroids give you extra joints that are this big, so I was very, very lucky to find this. But that is very unfortunate that a $120 usually selling USD product um, broke so easily, and I didn't even put too much force. It's not like I was testing it. I kind of wish I got it on camera, but I didn't put any forceful or purposely forceful pressure on the joint in a way that should snap it. I was just bending it the way it's meant to be bent and unfortunately it snapped. So that is very, um, I don't know how to say it, not misleading, but it's very, it, it doesn't prompt you to want to buy it for that much money. I know the product right now is selling for even more money now that the sale is done or the pre-orders are all out from online shops. So now you're going to be paying even more money uh, than what you may have purchased from your original online store or from Amiami, which is very uh, unsettling, I guess, that someone might be paying more than $120 for this figure, and they might get it, and it may break. Um, unfortunately, everything that comes with this figure is in Japanese, so even if there was a warning saying it's brittle or breakable, I wouldn't know because I can't read Japanese. I can't really uh, can't really blame not being able to read disclaimers because it's in a different language. That's you know I purchased something from a different country, so it's up to me to kind of research a product. But that is a little disheartening. Hundred dollar product already broken. Broken the same day it was at the box. But. That's really the only downside. The figure, like all figures, has its limitations for posing. Even this fully nude character is not completely posable. Of course, he is a very fat character, so he cannot bend forward at all. Um, he can slightly bend backwards. Um, actually, he can bend forward a tiny bit. Um, his bending backwards really only goes as far as this lets him. This material right here is um, very popular on undressable plastic models like you could get a figure like her which is much bigger and she would have a bikini and underwear on and the bikini and underwear which would be removable would be made of the same material as, whoops as this that that right there is something that happens a lot too the figure is hmm it's not entirely sound for something that's a hundred dollars i really wish the joints and everything was just a little bit better. Um, maybe if I can order Figma joints online, I will replace everything with Figma joints or maybe a different joint altogether because I am since that first joint cracked. And you can kind of, maybe you can hear it. Can you hear that squeaking? That squeaking means there's a lot of tension and there's a lot of force not force um retention basically the joint really doesn't want to bend in the way you're bending it it does mean it's a tight joint so he does stand up on his own his arms can hold his own but that sound just tells me i need to be careful when bending a figure especially with a well a joint break in its history already just coming out of the box um, overall, the sculpt, though, is very nice. The material they used is not glossy whatsoever versus this. This right here, you can tell the difference between the nice matte finish and the extreme gloss that's on the joints. Anytime I see joints with that much gloss, I pretty much say it's brittle and it's probably going to break. So it is unfortunate that it's a nice sculpt, nice finish, um, expensive product, but unfortunately the joints are not going to hold up for it. So... Um, as you can tell, he's got joints in everywhere where a human being should have one, each with a wrist, wrist joints, uh, elbow joints. The arms are fairly flexible. Um, he doesn't have, as you can see, any shoulder joints, so his movement is strictly based on 
how much this joint right here allows him to move. The head, despite having uh, not very long hair, is not entirely flexible. It's got the same type of joint that's in the arms, in the head, so underneath. Everything can be removed and taken off. So if you really wanted to, you could put another character's head on this guy's body. I don't know too many characters of that. Or this guy's weight, though. Unless you want to um, chub up some other of your male figures that you might have. Um, all the hair that's on here is painted on. It is not a texture. It's completely painted. So maybe you might be able to actually take that off if you're not enjoying that too much. Um, the leg hair, same thing, painted on. Feet have a revolving joint and of course it can bend forward. Knees are fairly flexible but that's as far as they go. And the hip joints I found um, come off quite a bit as you noticed before where this pops off. Uh, the main problem and why the hip joints come into place is because there is a uh, a very wide V-shaped joint on the inside so it's connected right in the middle and then it comes out this way and as you kind of do this with the um, hips the hips will rotate and it will pop itself out so this V-shape which is um, not individual it is together when it tips this way too much on the inside it may cause this side to come out and if it tips this way well the other leg will come off but it's all about balance um, figure I'd say would I recommend buying it unless you really really want this in your collection for whatever reasons you may want them in your collection I it's like I like him but no I I wouldn't recommend if you can get him for god if you if you can get him for under $70 maybe buy him but if you're prone to breaking things or you're in a house that might you know, like cats, dogs, or kids. I don't know why you'd have this out in the open for a kid to touch or grab. But if you think you're susceptible to breaking your figures or losing all the tiny small parts that come with them, try and find this for under $70. I know it's probably going to be hard, if not impossible, but if you ever if you ever say, I really want this figure, but you don't think it's worth $100 plus, dollars, then I would recommend waiting, holding off, and maybe not getting them right away. Um, or maybe, because I don't know how rare this item is, this is re-released after many, many years. So, it's up to you. I don't think he's worth $120 USD. I would not have bought him if his original price on Amy Amy is $120. Keep in mind, I only paid like $90 or $100. Which, yes, it's only $20 less, but that is $20 that I could spend on something else. So, uh, if you want to get him for that big dollar price, go ahead, but I don't recommend it. Um, the last thing we have to look at now is the Nun, which the glasses are easy to put in. You, there's already pre-drilled holes. The only thing that I found really strange, maybe you can tell just by looking at her front on, is whoever put the eyelashes on, or whatever puts the eyes on, uh, put them lopsided. The only strange or weird thing is, is it's the same... You have the same problem on the um, head with the hair. Thing is, it doesn't look as strange with the head that has the hair because the hair is kind of offsetting the face. So you can't really tell that the eye is all wonky. But with this one where her hair is not covering her forehead at all, you're just like, whoa, what the heck is wrong with her eye? So I'll probably paint over that and fix it because that really bothers me. And I would prefer her with her nun hair or her nun hat on other than with her hair because what's the point of role playing or having a nun like figure if you can't even tell that it's a nun. So that is extremely annoying. Um, as for the detail of this very still figure, she does not pose at all. The only thing that comes off or poses is her head, which her head with the hat on cannot move. But of course, once you put this head on, you'll have a joint all the way up to here, which I'll do for you guys. Which allows her head to be slightly posable. So that's all you have to do to put her head on. So she can turn her head now, pose it, kind of look back, even though her eyes are open. It's much more posable. Um, as for the detail, very nice. Um, these are not squishy, they are firm. 
and not firm in the case of an artificial rack, it is completely hard. So, you're not going to get any squish out of that. Uh, completely 3D all the way around, very large breasts, the figure is detailed all the way around, there's nowhere it's lacking in detail, it's not like they decided you don't need to see those parts, and of course, uh, like I said, the female genital on figures is always more detailed and more um, accurate or representative of the gender's genitals than male genitals, so I don't know why they do that, of course, um, well, I don't know. It's like, well, I'm assuming for this, it's like, well, it's because a guy's buying it. But then again, why would a guy buy this figure? But I'm a guy, so I don't know. I don't know. I can't explain it to you. Maybe I'll figure out how to type it out in the description box below. Um, I'm not a huge fan of how they sculpted the butt hole, I guess. It's kind of weird. It's almost like, it's strange. And it's not even like that's a dot. That is like an actual indent. Like someone took a toothpick and went, Drink! There! Perfect! The butthole is complete. Um, this, though, is very well detailed. Like, that's fantastic. Um, it does go in a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's I was expecting it to look kind of like the botched anime versions of vaginas. Because, oh my god. Some of the retro animes and just old hentai in general the vagina looks awful and i think whoever draws it should really look at some porn you know real real vaginas because it looks awful but i'm very glad that this is not retro hentai looking vagina because that would be very displeasing to me but overall it's very good sculpted it's very well sculpted i absolutely love it I love the stockings, they're very nice. The feet are fully detailed, which is great. Um, they definitely put a lot of detail into both of these. They made sure they had everything kind of representative of what they wanted, so they did a good job with that. Except for this friggin' thing. Um, but yeah. For all my 18 plus viewers out there, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think. Have you seen weirder figures than this out there? I know there are some. But if you have, please link me or tell me in the comments below and I'll definitely take a look at them. Heck, maybe if I like them enough, I'll even add them to my collection. If you want to see more videos from me, remember to subscribe because we will have many more videos to come in the future. Definitely 18 plus figures such as a huge and wide array of Reveltech Queen's Blade. If you're familiar with Queen's Blade and you want to see those figures, remember to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next unboxing video and as always peace out guys bye bye thank you guys so much for watching another video please subscribe and enjoy these extra videos just for you farewell for now